Hi, welcome again. Today we are going to talk about Nanite meshes and RPT blending in Unreal Engine 5. If you watch any Nanite or Quixel Mega Scan or recent videos, they mentioned that with Nanite we don't really need RPT blending. So these meshes naturally blend with each, each another, so we don't need any special thing. So I want to give it a try with a couple of examples and whether it's true or not. So let's give it a try. So here you can see some gravel kind of static mesh as a ground and we have a rock there. You can see this mesh is nicely blending into the, the ground and so we cannot see any seams. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good here. And let's try another one. And here this is a rocky uh, ground and this is the static mesh and we can clearly see it's nicely blending into the scene and we don't need any special thing and here is more of like a normal ground and again the answer is the same and it's nicely blending in we don't need any special thing and here we have a sand like ground surface and again it's nicely blending into the scene and we don't need any special kind of thing I think the reason is these measures have different height levels. Yeah, it's, it's naturally a fit with each another and that's that's pretty cool. So basically the claim that Android Engine team and the Pixel team is telling us that's, that's totally true and it's really nice. All right, now let's come to RVT. So with Android Engine 5, do we really need RVT? So let's discuss. Right now I have a simple static mesh. It doesn't have any displacement just the mesh here we have the nanized rock even this ground layer is just a flat surface still this rock is nicely blending into the scene and yeah, that's pretty cool and now let's try to add rvt blending into the scene so here's the difference this is without it and this is after we add the rvt blending so we, basically with rvt blending we can add a nice little touch and most importantly by changing with these tools we can try to give some extra details or maybe create something totally new look this is the by default one this is how to be blended it's not something like better than previous but it's completely different look you can try to play with all right let's try to change some textures of this uh, cube so now we have a beach like texture it's completely different from the nanite blending here you can see two nanite measures blending in with a sandy uh, surface so here it's a completely different look maybe this looks a little bit artificial and that you can change with using these parameters and it's up to you then i wanted to use rvt blending on here as well with two nanite meshes but unfortunately it seems like rvt blending doesn't work with nanite mesh as a ground layer that's quite unfortunate if we had that feature and i think we couldn't get the best of both worlds but right now uh, that's not possible so then how about the uh, future of rvt blending in under g5 if you decided to use nanite as a ground layer so basically you are using a lot of static measures like this as a ground layer and trying to create a landscape just like the UEFI demo you definitely cannot use a RVT but uh, you will get a really nice blending uh, then if you decided to use Unreal Engine landscape tool as the ground layer for your project so basically with that you can easily change things scalp, sculpt here and there and maybe get something out from the world creator or some other plugin and also you can uh, dynamically change stuff on the editor so that if that's what you're looking for definitely you have to go with the landscape tool and then uh, we can use the RVT blending just like we did in the UE4. Still it's useful and we can get a really nice effect. But I wish uh, if we can use uh, RVT blending even with these nanite measures and so we can get the best of both worlds. So that's it. That's my idea on RVT blending and nanite measures in Unreal Engine 5. Alright, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.